Oh, Cali Dota Laqueda. Look at you. All right, guys. This is a rare, rare moth right here, guys. This is called the Streaked Cali Dota. Um, it looks like it might be. Let me put my headlamp on. see if I can tell if it's a male or female so if it's a female I'm gonna try and get eggs oh no 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 uh Rick yeah you're gonna oh crap where'd you go Run. dang it these moths man are killing me today <laughs> every time they're killing me they every never do that time you say you want to get eggs Okay, here he is. Here he is. He just flew on that side. Oh, I don't know. Uh, he's got a pink butt. Where is he? Where'd he go? My flashlight has... Oh, Charlie, what's wrong with stuff on the floor before? I don't see no one. Uh, behind you. All right, so we have a Julia butterfly at the light sheet, which is kind of different. I don't think in all the years that I've been down here surveying moths, I've ever seen a Julia butterfly at my light. Um, you know, I don't know what that means, but, but here, you wouldn't tell by looking at them, but this right here is a pink spot hawk moth. And uh, that adds another sphinx species to our list for the night. That's awesome. Yes, sir. It's awesome, man. The pink spots are on the abdomen, which are hidden right now. It's very tough to tell the pink spot apart from some of the other, um, like Manduka species, because they look very, very similar. So, uh, good stuff, man. There's a Tursa. Tursa Sphinx just flew in. Got another half blind Sphinx. Paragonia Luska. Ugh. I don't know where my Caledota Laqueda went, but we've got one of these big, another one of these beautiful big geometrids. That's absolutely stunning. They're, they're really, really big. Uh, that's probably a good three inch, solid three inch wing. Oh, uh, Rick. Yeah. Come here. He's, he's coming. He's right. This guy flying right there. Pop him in a jar. Pop him in a jar. You got it. Yeah. That's a good moth. That's probably one of the most rare, rarest moths you've gotten today. Nice. That's oh, a, I see the pink. The now. pink butt. Yep. yep. Little pink butt. What was that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. What is that? Uh, he's coming down. Oh, Oxidia. Oxidia, Oxidia, Oxidia. How long do you think yep. it's going to last forever? And we ran out of gas in the generator just before the sun came up. <laughs> Here, give it to me. You got it? Yeah, I don't want this to fall. Yep. Rack 90, guys. All right, Ricky, what kind of generator are you using, buddy? Uh, it's called Generac or something like that. How many how many watts is it? Uh, I believe it's 1,400 or 1,200, something like that. Yep. It's That's... really good, bro. <laughs> Whoa, got him. <laughs> it's full. <laughs> it's full. It's full. <laughs> yeah, so how and much I did you pay it. for that? I don't remember. It was cheap, like $400. 400 bucks. And it's, it's the quietest one? It's super quiet. For the price, it's the best you can buy. Yeah, I, I have a Honda. Unless uh, you want to buy, if you want better, you got to buy Honda. Yeah, I have a Honda, which... What happened? Let's go. Oh, the choke. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it has no gas. It's filling up. Yeah. Right now, it will take a minute. <laughs> You got a little red light blinking there on the yeah. side. I don't know what that means. What's it say? I don't know. It was this one right here. I don't know. It will go. 
Why? Choke? No. You shouldn't need the choke. It's been running. Right. There it goes. Oh, good. It's oh. good now. And the lights came back on. Woo. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock. Oh, 5... 5.45 a.m. And, um... There, uh, uh, yeah, so the, the mercury vapor lights guys have real, they get really hot. So they probably have some kind of built in mechanism yeah, they do. to keep them from like you shut off and it gets cold or, or, or it's too hot and then it gets cold and it's too hot again and the bulb can break. So it probably has a mechanism that says, eh, we're not going to turn on quite yet until the thing cools down a little bit. There it goes. There goes what? one. Yeah, the other one's bigger, so it should take a little minute. Yeah. Turn the headlamp off. What about yours? It should be in the same. Uh, mine, mine probably has a little bit longer of a runtime than yours. Okay. Yeah, it's bigger. No, the moths didn't disappear. All right. Plenty of oxidia. Look at the big female oxidia right here. Okay. Nice ox big female oxidia vesula. It's a pretty bug. It's tough to get these guys in good shape. Here's another one. This one's got a little bit more of a black dot on the hind wing. Oxidia Vesula. We got, let's see. Oh, there goes the other one. All right. This little micro here is, I love these little pyralids. Little tropical pyralid. Um, get the name here on the bottom for you. Super cool moth, not easy to find. And then we got an Ichneumon wasp. They like to eat all of our IO moth caterpillars. Hate them. All right, so anything going on down here? Let's see. One more Elo Sphinx. Yeah. A lot of Elos. A lot of Elos. Elo, 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 Elo. These guys are all over the place. I've seen a bunch of these. There's some really cool longhorn beetles in the Keys, guys. Um, I've never do gotten really into identifying them all, but there's some really cool species. And I, I love longhorn beetles. They're super cool. They've got some great patterns on them. And uh, this one's cool. He is cool. Oh, look at you. Ew. They are cool. Look at that. <laughs> okay, folks, to wrap up the last segment of our Moth Week excursion down to Key Largo, this, guys, is a moth that I'm very excited to show you. This is Usodosoma involutum it's a very very hard to get noctuid i'm sorry arctiid the abdomen is pink and it's got these really tiny little hind wings you can you can see the hind wings folded behind the forewings there he's got a little he's got a little bit of uh chipped up forewing there but I, it's been years since i've seen one of these so it's i'm kind of happy to see one <laughs> mm. It's getting buggy out here, guys. The sun's going to be coming up, but I'm really excited to show you Usudosoma involutum. This is a tough one to find, guys. Uh, so I'm actually going to try and pawn him off onto the sheet here. See if he'll crawl up there. There he goes. Beautiful moth. I wish he was, uh, wish he was a female trying to raise him. 
that's one that I would love to do the life cycle on. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Our last round, we've got more of these guys, this big, what have we got flying, buzzing underneath here? That's an yellow. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but these, these big geometrids are real common today. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Um, Artesi, we got tons and tons of these cicadas. Got these guys, all right. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, guys. There's, you know, it's been a, it's been an hour since we've been to this light sheet, and so it's uh, we've got Pyactes. There, this is such a tough genus to to diagnose here. Um, oh, he flew on me. Ellis Sphinx just flew in. Nice, big, bright Ellis Sphinx. Um, what else? We got here's a Pyactes, guys. This genus, I think there's six or seven species that live in the Keys. Very difficult to differentiate. So, I wind up collecting those just to to try and try and do the taxonomy on them. Or we got a slug moth. We've got our little green geos. We've got our little brown geos. We've got our one of our um, bagworms. And of course, we've got Elo, Elo, Elo. <laughs> Another Elo there. He just, he just, the guy just hit me in the leg. Yeah. He smacked me in the leg. All right, let me make, make my way around the sheet here. Plenty of uh, longhorn beetles. Huh? A witch is short up. Black witch. Like this, coming in. Yeah, there are cool. Big black witch. Lots of black witches tonight. Lots of them. We got fighter witch. Yep. So lots of big longhorn beetles. Well, I wouldn't say big longhorn beetles. Lots of longhorn beetles. Uh, oh, here, here's a nice big female... Um, uh, Protambulux strigillus, guys. Big female Protambulux. Look at that. She's so docile and she's just chill, right? Um, plenty of flannel moths. These things are so annoying. These cicadas just buzz you and buzz you and buzz you. All right, guys, this is a Notodonna. This is Heterocampra. Uh, they're calling it Zyasi. This one I'm suspect is some kind of different species. These little dots on the tip of the forewing and the coastal uh, forewing are very uniform in some. And then there's, a, there's other ones that are very distinct and have a lot more patterning. So I wanna check that out in the future one day. Yeah, cicadas just disturb everyone. <laughs> Including that little moth. All right, let's see. Is there anybody underneath here? There's a female Ello. A female. Nice. Yeah, old. Oh. That old girl. Same old girl. Oh yeah, the ones in here. We got a ah, little. Something bit me. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. oh. My Where? My finger. On your finger? Yeah, maybe a bee or something. Else. Okay. That's not Beep. cool. <laughs> Rick, you just got chewed on by something. It's buggy out here. It is. Oh, that. Guys, honestly, I don't know what this is. Ricky, I need a jar right now, bud. This, I believe, is going to be a new species to our project here. Where is he? Right here, this one right there. Okay. I've never seen that before. It looks... That's going to be a new species for us. That's why we're doing this, guys, because, yeah, there's a lot of common moths. It's <laughs> in the face. Hit you in the face. Let me see that jar. There's a lot of common species, guys, but this one that we just took is a geometric moth that I have never seen before in the Florida Keys. So we just added a species to our list, but I have to go find out what it is now, which is not going to be an easy task because I don't recognize... Okay, good. Good, 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 good. More good. All right. Ow. Something just bit the heck out of me. Yeah, something bit me. Okay. 
Now, here, this here, pink spotted hawk moths are common enough where I'm gonna try and show you some of the hind, some of the pink spots that this girl has. There we go, look at that. Yeah, you don't see pink spots on the pink spot hawk moth very often because they like to hide those pink spots. But there she is. Well, there's not a whole lot else to... Let me see if there's anything inside of here. There's a, something going on in there. Yeah. The orange, little orange guy in there. Well, there's a big black witch that just landed. Yeah. Flying. Big, big, big black witch. Oh man, aren't you cool? Uh, comment down below, guys, if you've ever seen a black witch, or if you if you'd like to. 